Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorable Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. at this point of time, but uh, um, uh, you would think that uh, they would need to be more direct with their play uh, than what they have been. Well, chance here for the Warriors. David Gunny having a run. The big fella takes his time, looks up the ground, the kick though, not a good one. Couldn't be taken by Ward. Loose ball sees now that uh, the Warriors, I think through the agency of Finch, kicks the ball up to half forward, looking for Biggs. He couldn't take it, and the, Warrior, uh, the Seagulls clear the footy again to the centre of the ground. Anderson picks up for uh, Motawari. Kicked uh, the hand pass, though, intercepted. Good work there was from Santilli. Got it to Maxwell, who's been good. Dean receives the hand pass. Looks up there for the big fella and Gavin Smith. He couldn't take it. Steve Dello, though, can for the Warriors and gives it across to the dashing Finch, who kicks to the centre of the ground. Could have been a mark in front. Will be over the shoulder, <coughs> and it will go to the man in front, Sean Keating, for Bowen Heads. He takes his left foot kick. He's got a bit of space to work with now, Bowen Heads, if they can run onto this loose ball. But the four tumbling burly football runs to the boundary line. The Seagulls lead 98 to 45. Boundary throw in now. Not long to go in this final quarter. Uh, look, Bowen Heads would be <coughs> static about this. Uh, uh, they put a lot of things in place, as you pointed out. The uh, pep talk from uh, the Fremantle uh, coach and... Little things like that, you, you, you've got no idea just what effect it does have on players, uh, you know, and their pride and all the rest of it. So, uh, Also securing the deal uh, with, with Rick Mundy and his company, uh, the Mundy Group, um, to, to fund the, the, the debt that Bowen had sustained from this fine establishment. Well, I think, I think, I think what, you've got to, <clears throat> what you've got to look at is uh, uh, the administration is fantastic and there's another goal which is uh, absolutely... Let's hope he's okay. It looks like it could well be Todd Smith, the full back. They're getting, bringing the stretcher out on the ground, Ron, so things are not looking too good. Time check here. We've been travelling about 20 minutes off this final quarter. Bowen heads in a commanding position. It's uh, Todd Smith, who's been excellent playing in that defensive role. Really unfortunate for him. And they're bringing out the stretcher now to escort him from the ground. So really just... Uh, putting salt on the wound there for Motawari with this injury. Yeah, well, you, you don't like to sort of see anybody <clears throat> uh, get an injury in, in a one-sided affair like this, but uh, uh, Motawari's back line certainly been under under a lot of pressure and, uh, and of course, uh, people like Smith who have been putting himself in all day and it's no different here and, and he's obviously sustained a, a, a quite a bad injury by the look of things here because uh, you don't take the stretcher out for a leg injury unless something uh, major has, has happened. Back in the centre square, you're with Ron Brain. This time, Ward having a run on the ball, good tap too, got it over the top to uh, Keating having a run on the ball also for Bowen Heads, the kick is a beauty. Earth to my, two under-18 champions uh, that have played together for many years combining there. Great to see for uh, the future of Bowen Heads. And a lovely mark taken, Eddie Erftemeyer, no more than 35 metres out, 45 degree angle, shouldn't have too many problems here. Missing to the near side, Erftemeyer. Give a bloke a wrap, Mick, and that's what happens. Yes, I think I think it's obvious that uh, he's not confident with his kicking because the couple of times we've seen him, he's tried to uh, uh, hand it off, and uh, on this occasion... Um, He's kicking, let him down. They've had three times the amount of scoring shots, Bowen heads, 30 to 10 in favour of the Seagulls. Motawari clear now, and it was just too much. 22 minutes into the final quarter, tapped down. Anderson gathered well, but lost the football at the expense of uh, Williams. Williams snap around the corner, only as far as Pearson for the Warriors. A lot of Warriors sporting the long sleeves today. Goes up towards... Beggs couldn't control it, fell to Wemmis. Wemmis put a rush snap on the boot in the direction of Harvey, but he's beaten for pace by Herbison. Snaps around the corner and spots up Shannon. Takes a comfortable mark on the chest, wheels around, goes up towards Smith. One on one, over their heads, plans the call. Who's got the legs here? Smith ran over the top of the football. Motawari get it. Here's Leslie. Hands back now 
Finch. By hands, finds his teammate in Treblecock. Treblecock goes for distance up towards the corner of the centre square. Hovey's lurking underneath it. No one can take possession. Here's Beggs. Beggs back now. Finds Wemmis. Wemmis on the left foot. Inside forward 50. There's a man lurking. But Bowen Heads was the man in front. Play on. Ball went to ground. Seagulls with the numbers. Beggs is at the fall of the footy. Who can pick it up first? Getting there was Shannon. That's Matty Shannon. Got it to Flynn. Flynn back to Shannon. What can he do? He got it out to a teammate finally. Seagull's out of trouble once again. Yeah, Rob. great work, Short Kenny. There too is strength. Chance now for the Warriors to Finch. Good work from him. <laughs> Runs through the centre wing position. Lovely football from the youngster and finds his teammate there in Brendan Wyness at half forward. Plays on quickly. The big fella puts his mitts up and uh, Allen takes a great grab and a chance here for the Warriors to uh, add to their score. Kicking from 40 metres directly in front. Well, up until this this time, he was playing a defensive role, except in the first quarter, but he's been in defence, so maybe Motawari should have left him up forward as he comes in now. Oh, terrible kick. That's really bad. After 30 metres out, and he's, uh, well, 40 metres out, and he's kicked at 30 metres wide of its yeah. intended target. But I, I do agree with what you're saying. I, I think that he, he should have been uh, persevered with. Okay, yeah. Uh, you make it make a mistake or two, but he's such a big, solid, solid guy that he and he holds his ground. So uh, he would have been good value in the forward forward line. Disappointing result there for Allen. Boundary throw in. He will contest the ruck, trying to make amends. Applies the pressure on the Bowen Heads defenders, but they have numbers around the football. Falling to Alban. He got his hand pass away now. He finds Walsh. Walsh did well. They go by hands. They're combining well, the Seagulls. A left foot drop punt up towards half four, but cut off by Adam Leslie. Being one of their best today for the Warriors. Goes out wide to the outer side of the ground. We're on centre wing now. And Modern Warriors still haven't troubled the scorers in this final quarter as we approach the dying moments. They still have a chance to go inside 450 once again, but cut off by Santilli, who's had a bit of the ball today. Yeah, he's been good across half back, and so has this fellow too, Matty Shannon. He's absolutely had a picnic here this afternoon. Looks out there to centre wing position for Dean. Second effort was really good. Well wrapped up though by that occasion by the Warrior defender in Biggins, and he's not rewarded. Umpire will bounce down. Yes, I think he could have quite easily been paid holding the ball there. Gunning from Ottawari contests against Ward. Wins it down. Gunning got it out nicely there to Lehman. Lehman on the left foot. Bangs one inside. It's a nice snap up towards the top of the square. Play on the call. Right in the thick of things. Oh, great. Barraging through there for Bowen Heads. Up towards Smith. He had to work for it. Couldn't do so. Warriors with plenty of numbers back. Here's Dello, picks it up. He had Finch, but he decides to ignore him and go up towards centre wing. Spots up Harvey. Harvey on the right foot will go up towards the up towards centre wing. Bowen heads back in. Just Montevori lazy with their pickups and disposal. Bowen heads have to work hard here. They find Walsh. Walsh got his hand pass away and Seagulls again inside 50. Smith, he's strong here. Used his body well, but just couldn't hold on. Play on. Finch gathers. He's been excellent at half back. Good. Running forward. Goes out towards centre again. It's another case of kick to kick. Boundary throw in. 25 minutes gone. Bowen heads 15 15 105. Montawari uh, some 60 points behind. Seven goals, 3 45. Here it is. Final siren. Bowen heads victorious. Their first win of season 2007, and it's a very deserved one. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Ellsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Mirable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Eldsworthy's Retrovision.